the bible said something very very important before we go and finish up our teaching on idol worshiping now i want you to understand let me borrow some persons probably three persons can i borrow just three persons i want to show you something before we continue come this side just three persons three persons that can come all right thank you so much now i want to show you something when you begin to undergo or listen to a teaching there is a reason why god grants every teaching to come your way there are people that right now in this season they are they are not listening to a teaching on idol worshiping they are listening to a teaching maybe on faith because that is the season where they are in that is where they are struggling with but if you are in the southeast and you don't understand the patterns of idol worshiping and what gives idol worshiping its strength i'm telling you you will not be able to be a, be be you will not be able to produce much fruit for the kingdom now you might see yourself like you didn't come from a family that is maybe having such kind of background or whatever but this is what happened when you gather knowledge when you gather knowledge this is what happened you send knowledge ahead of you can you just go ahead just there when you gather knowledge because you have known it you have sent it to your future you might not need it in your present but it's an arsenal to you is that correct it's a weapon to you you have sent it to your future why i'm saying you have sent your future future is because you don't need it now you might not have experienced the need for it when you pray you have sent your prayer to the future please you can go you are the prayer now you have sent your prayer to what to the future is that correct when you meditate on the scripture to know what it says when you understand what the scripture is saying who you are as a believer in christ you are sending that knowing to your future now because you have known it it is there in your future whenever you come to this future and you might not encounter the problem but you might meet people who have encountered that problem and then all you need to do is make withdraw because you already have the solution to it before somebody called you on the phone you know you might not like this it might be heavy it might sound like it's untruth but before people call you on the phone and say man of god or brother i want you to help me to pray um my my sister is not feeling fine and she's at the verge of that i need you to pray and then you prayed or then you didn't pray whatever but i want you to understand that the healing of that particular person was tied to you as well and god was aware that a time will come that this person will be led to reach to you but you have not built the faith in that future to be able to help that person if that person died you play the role Before you enter 2024, 2025, or any year, there are preparations that God has allowed you to meet in that year. There are messages you met. There are people you encountered. There are conferences you attended. Every of that conferences was orchestrated by God to build something inside of you. And that thing is what will enable you to fund what will happen the next year or the next five years. So if you miss that step, other might have grown ahead of you but when they come to the place where they will need you to provide that step and you don't have it if they are delayed it's because of you this mentality that god will still find someone else now he has found you he created you he has found you i i'll tell you again don't listen to this thing about idol worshiping how it works how they manipulate people and keep it to your own personal gain just make it be say i know if you don't utilize this thing accurately to save so you wasted the efforts every single message that comes your way there is something to learn and there's something not to learn and even in what you are not learning there's something to learn if you are doing a business and you fail seven times you have learned seven ways to do, to not do that business is that correct if you fail hundred times, you have learned hundred ways to not do it. When you see someone else doing it in that way, you can say, oh God, this will fail. This is how it will end because I've tried it. So even our failures teaches us something. Is that correct? You are here now. You are making deposit. You are acquiring knowledge. You might be here and you can choose to sleep. Like you are free. You have 
legal right to sleep. You have legal right to even do WhatsApp. Just when you want to do, go to the back. You are free to even stand up severally and go to the bathroom or toilet. You are free to even go outside of the gate and make whatever call that is important to you. You see, in the earth realm, those calls seem to matter. In the spirit realm, it has no relevance. And you won't tell God that the time that message was preached, I went to urinate. If that is not what he will ask you. When he comes to you, he will make a demand. Something Apostle Rob Market told me some years ago. He said, man of God is a privilege to be called to serve. I didn't see it in such a way before. He said, it's a privilege for we that are ministers to be chosen. It means the Father have seen beforehand and chose us. And has entrusted upon us with so much responsibilities for the kingdom. Hope you know that not every one of us will go outside there and be doing street evangelism. Our job is to equip the saints. That street evangelism that you're hiding is you. Is your full-time responsibility. In your place of work, you are to win souls. In your place of assignment, wherever you find yourself, even when you are posted to anywhere in your youth club, serve whatever, there is a mission that you are sent to do. Whether one year old, the letter returning you, or you stay 10 years old, how many years you stay there? And when you are done, God will say, I sent you to this village. I made location. I made provisions available. I put you in that location. I made everything you need. And I provided it for you. How many souls were you able to account for? When you gather knowledge and you make prayers, it doesn't feel like the prayers you are making are being answered. And that's why I say learn to pray in your understanding. You pray so much in tongues that sometimes you don't know what you are praying. And then even when God answers what you have prayed in tongues, you don't even know. When you pray in tongues, pray in your understanding. Pray in your understanding. Then pray in tongues. He said, let us pray. You just say, go, 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 da, 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 da. It is beautiful, but also learn to pray in your own understanding. Are you learning from what I'm saying? Please, you can go back. Thank you so much for coming out. We have many Christians that, are on the, that come out and... Let me ask you. You've been a Christian for 10 years. You've been a Christian for 15 years. You've been what you call a Christian for maybe 20 years. How has your life affected your neighbors? Because I'm about to teach you, this is the complete version of the teaching on idol worshiping. But there is a reason why this message is being brought to you. There is a reason why God is granting us this wisdom and the depth of it. I learned something. I learned a lot of things. In going to programs, you learn a lot of things. I ministered on Monday here like last week on Monday, ministered on Monday, ministered on Tuesday, traveled to Ebony to minister, minister on Wednesday, ministered on Thursday. Then I was supposed to rest on that Thursday. I was supposed to rest on Friday. Is that correct? I was supposed to rest on Friday. Then to stay under the ministration of my brother, Apostle. And for some reason, for some reason, he was not able to come. And then I was now asked to minister on that Friday. What if I wasn't prepared? And then I came back on, after missing on that Friday, I came back on Saturday and I ministered on Saturday. Then I ministered on Sunday. And I ministered on Monday. And I'm ministering today. And I'm ministering tomorrow. And I'm ministering on Friday. Every single time God brings an opportunity to you, make sure you are prepared. That's just what I want you to understand. Because you can't explain why you are not prepared. That's why even if I'm traveling for anything, I'll go with my sermons. When I'm anywhere, I'm studying. Because God can make a demand 
on you at any time. And when God make a demand on you, and you say, hey, you know the thing is, I'm tired, I'm tired. Um, and the truth was not because you are tired. The truth was because you are not prepared. That opportunity might never come back to you because you don't deserve it. I used to tell people, wherever you are working, have a business plan, have a business idea. Everywhere you find yourself, make sure you already have, you know, there's what they call pitch. To pitch your investment, you should know, have an idea of what to do with it. If 5 million comes to your hand, what to do with it? If 10 million comes, what to do with it? If 7 million, you should have it like a blueprint. It should be in your heart. One day you can just go to a place to buy mama put. And somebody will just walk in and say, please, I want to buy mama put. And they ask you, sorry, if I give you 5 million naira, for example, what can you do with it? And then you say, well, I need to sit down and think about it. You've lost it. Do you understand? The first time I had a contract with Nigerian Brewell, which lasted for about three months or so, one of the directors came to see my dad. And while the man was leaving, my dad said, ah, that's my son, he's into ICT. And he said, wow, tell me about your business before I get to my car. In less than three minutes from where he was, to his vehicle with all the police i had to sell the idea of my business and that's how i got his um, card and i got the contract don't say you are into business and your brain you will load you'll be wasting god resources my people perish for lack of prayer is that what the bible said my people perish for lack of fast is that what they said no my people perish for what lack of knowledge i was showing something to um prof today i sent him something i said prof look at this do you see how wrong that brother was on that video and yet people are people bought the idea and they are traveling with it they have gone to villages that they are spreading it and yet it was a lie I, I just told him, I said, Prof, this is not my, this is your job. Oh. I told him, I said, this is not for me. Oh. Job, do, uh, Prof, do something about this. That's your, because AK will always AK. And instantly, Papa, because he had something already prepared, he just ba 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 and say, Papa, Alpha, check it out. I, 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 I said, I said, you killed it. Sometime it might be just one reply. That under someone's Facebook video or whatever comment, you just go, just one reply. You know, when you lack what to say, whenever you come to reply, you start with insult. You're a fool. You don't know anything. That's because you lack what to say. But when you have something to say, if you come, you don't even need to give so much paragraph because people are lazy to read. When you say one thing, anyone that sees it will know there's something here. If you are in the southeast and you don't know what idol worshiping is doing, you need to go back to the west. This place is not for you. I have over 300 messages. I can tell you with my chest high, 30% of them is about idol worshiping. 30 of them is about idol worshiping. And this is the thing that all of us must come to an understanding. We must know. So don't just know this thing just because of knowing sake. Know it because you might use it. And in fact, it will make a demand of you. Write it down. Go back and get the sermon and listen to the sermon over and over and over and over again. I was teaching you something the last time we gathered. I was telling you something about demons and familiar spirits. How some of the spirits were invoked and when they are invoked, what happened? I believe that's what we were saying, right? Now, I want to talk about the strength of idols. What is what gives these idols their strength? Can you open to the book of 2 Timothy 1 verse 7? 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. So what gives this idol their strength? Kabara to shatapara One of the strength of idols, one of the strength of idol is fear. When I mean by strength, it's not, it, it, it is what they used to haunt. Now, when I talk about idol, remember I'm talking about demon spirit as well. So I'm using the phrase idol to help you to understand where I'm, where I'm kind of targeting. But at the end of the day, what makes an idol an idol is the demon spirit that we are invoked inside of you. Remember, right? 
He said, once you have fear, the devil will control your life. And in case you think that men of God don't sometimes have fear, it comes, we rebuke it. As long as you are in this earth, the devil will try to bring fear. And you must constantly rebuke it and refuse it from staying. Give me only NIV, please, my brother. So the strength of idol, one of the strengths of idol is fear. They bring fear to you. That is the first thing that happened. The moment you see, let me tell you something. I wish we... Now, can you bring that Ogene? Can you bring that Ogene for me? And bring a wooden stick for it too. Can we hurry up? Thank you. Now, okay, this is what they use, but This is the part to use, okay. This is the part. Okay. Now, praise the Lord Jesus. I hope I can be able to... Okay, can you hold this mic? Now, pay attention to this. Some of you are laughing already. Do you know why you are laughing? Because it's of your mind. Now, there is nothing wrong with this. This thing. And that. Can you hit that one? It is something. It produces what? Sound. Is that correct? There is nothing wrong with that. What is that? Can you bring that one too? Hurry up please. Now, there is nothing wrong with this. Uh, that was not the one but it's fine. There's nothing wrong with this. But Nigerian movie has beauty to you that is only native daughters that work with it. This is part of sound. This is traditional or cultural ways of making sound. That is a modern way of making sound. That's like the white man kind of thing, right? And this is like the, in quotes, our own kind of thing. It's the same thing. Is that correct? Are you following me? Thank you. Please stay there. Now, if I was wearing red, you see, when I brought this, you only laugh, you didn't run. But if Paraventure was able to act it in a way that I was able to get somebody, that as I'm doing this thing now, the person will just walk in and he's putting on maybe a red clothes with nzu chalk on the eye and then tie something on the hand and then he enters here and then he stares at you. No, I don't want any of those sound. Come on. And then he stares at you. Just by staring at you, and you see him with this. The first thing that happens is fear. You feel a goosebump. The reason why you won't run out is because Prophet Emmanuel is here. Or because your faith agrees that no, the person cannot enter here now. If I run from here, where I won't go. But if someone dressed like that and walk into your room, the first thing you do is run. First of all, you start pretending. Like, uh -huh, waiting now. I got waiting. Calm down. Wait till happen. You say, and if he eventually be able to call your name. If you say, what is your name? Your name is Emmanuel. Ima. 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 You say, uh -uh, how do you know my name? Ima, we know you in the spirit realm. You will run away. The first thing he does, or the first thing he did, was to put fear. The native daughter dressed in a certain attire, regalia that puts fear inside of you. In fact, even this talit I'm wearing, people are afraid of it. They say, look at the symbol. Look at it. Triangle. Look at it. I don't know what they call it. Is it octangle? What they call it? I don't know what they call this guy. I don't know. He said, look at it. Some people even said our logo was demonic. That look at that logo. Yeah, it's demonic. Look at that bag. Look at the angle. Look at the shape like, excuse me, haven't you seen a star before? So until the logo looked dull like this, that's when you know that it's a logo. That if, I, if I'm preaching, somebody said that he, that he doesn't like that I put my hand on the in my pocket if I'm preaching, that he, he shows that I have pride. And he doesn't know that him making that statement is an evidence of pride. Because it's a thing of the heart. Is that correct? So when I, but now you are seeing me now, dressing in, hope you know that if there was no colonization, one day na gown will go wear like here. Hope you know, I'll, I'll wear gown. So now, now see if I hit. You're not, you're not, you're not afraid, you're not scared. Why are you not scared? Because you know me. The strength of the enemy is your fear. The moment any native daughter begins to fear, his power stops working. The moment you as a Christian begin to fear, your faith starts dropping. It's the spiritual principle. Does that make sense? Thank you. It's what a spiritual principle. I'm still going to use that for demonstration. You can go with it. It's what a spiritual principle. 
fear. That is the strength of idols. Because today I will teach you how to break it and renounce it, how to destroy it all. It's fear they feed from. And the book of First Timothy, Second Timothy, verse one says something about fear. He said, "For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline." When fear comes, refuse to give it the space. If I'm sleeping and I hear you play this thing, go come, 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 go come. God knows I won't wake up and bind anything. Except maybe the spirit is leading me to bind it. Kokom, I can tell you to just play it in the right rhythm that will help me sleep. You must learn to confront fears. The Bible says that you have the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost that is in you does not have fear. The spirit you have received does not come with fear. In the packaging of the spirit you have received, everything that... It, the opposite of the fear there is faith. But he's telling that he, he came with what? Love. He came with what? Self-discipline. Now, give me, um, give me um, what they call it. Give me NLT. I think there's something NLT might. Okay. Is there NLT? Then give me King James. There's something. There's a word I'm looking for. Let me know if he captured it for me. Exactly. That's what I'm looking for. But of power and of love and of sound mind. Sound mind sound mind that's what happened in our in our in our place here when people start running you don't know what's happening you join them and run am i saying you should not run but before you run ask question uh -huh. why would they go like this why would they go here some of you you don't even ask question you just start running don't ask why are we running just follow me oh fear but i'm talking about spiritual fear when the devil comes the first thing he wants to do is to implant fear inside of you that's why they put all that their makeup and everything is to put fear does it mean that if he didn't put that white thing he won't see that thing is to put fear to tell you that he's the eyes of the gods like you don't know enough and they try not to smile they are always mean so that you take them serious but they laugh. They are human beings. Give me 1 Peter 5 verse 8 please. 1 Peter 5 verse 8. The moment the devil succeeds in putting fear inside of you, it's game over for you. He says, stay alert. Stay alert. Watch out for your great... Watch out for your great enemy. He prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour he's looking for someone he pretends to be a lion seeking for who he would tear apart do you know why the bible uses the phrase like a lion you know you watch by god grace i've been privileged to see a lion even though i didn't see the lion roar i wanted the lion to but when they were trying to make him to roar, I said, there's no point. I told them, there's no point. I was with my brothers. I told them, no need. There's no point to wake someone that is sleeping up. Yeah. So when they were trying to do it, I shifted from there. I'm not Daniel yet. But I'm Daniel in the spirit. Are you know what I'm saying? Of course, it was case. There's no, I was, actually, I was not scared. But I can disappear. I don't know for them. And if anything happened, they will say, I've used them to do my charm. Hope you know when you are traveling with people, you have to, yeah, your spirit has to cover them too. If anything happened to them, they say, who knows, on the way, you don't use them. Go like, well. And funny enough, when you come and minister after that kind of thing, the way power will scatter, they will say, I tell you, oh, like, go. And that is why everyone that works with me, I have to constantly want to drill you. I have to be sure you are praying, you are praying, you are praying. Are you understand what I'm saying? He said, that's what the enemy does. Now, next verse, please. He says, stand firm against him and be strong in what? No, he fear. Is that what he said? 
He said, be strong in your faith. Because the opposite of fear is what? Faith. The moment there is fear, your faith fails. And if your faith fails, the devil will attack you. And I hope you know that that's something that happens with animals. Now, I've not confronted it, but if you used to watch Nagio Wild, they always give us that instance that the moment you see an animal, that just relax. That the moment you do like you want to run, he will sense you are afraid, he will attack you. Is that, do I have people that study that? Yes. So, but now, I've not tried it. That's what I'm saying, I've not tried it. So, but that's what they said. They said the moment, I, and I don't want to be in such a situation to know. But in the spirit realm, I don't fear all those things. But they said that the moment they look at you, first of all, they begin to weigh you. But if you, if you watch those Nigeria white guys, you see those white life guys, you see them, they will stand. And once they stand, the lion will look at them. <laughs> you, in your mind, you are saying, <laughs> now I see me too. And when he looks at them, he just turns on his own. And they will begin to walk away. But the moment he looks at you, okay, let's use for example dogs. I think many of us have had, have had several encounters with dogs when I was much younger. Some I ran on top of the car. I've, I've had experience with, and especially those dogs that used to have head like human beings. I don't know what they call them. Is it a Greek dog? What they call it? Not bull dogs. What they call it? Rottweiler. Is that what they call it? No, not Pitbull. Pitbull is an ugly dog. Eh? Yeah, that kind of dog. He used to have big head and tall. My uncle, my uncle used to have it too. So I remember that the moment you come, they always tell you that thing. You know they bite. <laughs> like if the dog hears, you know they bite. So, and the truth is that if you stand your ground, the, the dog will make a sound like, uh, if you say, if you say, Kai, you do, he goes back. Is that correct? But the moment you do, uh, the dog will know you are afraid. He will not start acting tough. You will not do like this, like if he will kill you. At the end of the day, if you keep your hand, he will still not bite you. I'm not saying you should keep. I'm just teaching you something. Praise the Lord Jesus. I'm teaching you something because I know many persons are watching me too and different understanding are there. But what, 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 is, the, what, is, the, what is the key is after fear. The moment he says, and hope you know that once you are afraid, your body sent a certain kind of adrenaline is being released that the dog can perceive as fear. And once he sends it, he will attack you. So it's not just because you are saying, it's not just about that. Your body is already sensing releasing some things that it can perceive and know that this young man is afraid even though he's saying how come so whenever danger confronts you there is the first fear that comes inside of you but there is the fear that you say god forbid i've seen sometimes when spirit can appear you blast in tongue instantly you don't know you don't know have you ever been i don't know how it works have you ever been walking all of a sudden you have a flash of something then you say jesus before you even start thinking what you saw. That thing you called Jesus was actually out of fear. But your response is to charge up the faith. That's what happened. Anytime you mistakenly hit your leg and say, Jesus, that was out of fear. It was not out of boldness. But that Jesus you called was for strength. Because every time you call Jesus, you enter into a place called um, a tower. The Bible said that... Um, the name of Jesus is a strong tower. The righteous running into it and they are safe. So whenever you call it, you appear before a tower in the spirit realm. And that tower has angels around it. Because whenever you provoke that name, legions of angels, they leave heaven and they enter into your realm and they wage war against whatever that is waging war against you. That's where David said, fight those who fight against me and oppose those who oppose me. There was a knowing he has. So the devil fights with that fear. That is the first thing he does. He says, stand firm against him and be strong in your faith. Remember that you Christian brothers, uh, your Christian brothers and sisters all over the world are going through the same kind of suffering you are. So whenever you see fear, faith comes in. So when a native doctor walk in and he bring, um, give me that shaka, 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 shaka. See, I teach you this, let your subconscious carry it. I'm telling you what I know. When, when nature, he comes, shake it. See, I'm not just teaching you this. Let it be real. This is what I did. 
Do you see the level of faith I activated here? I took it from him and she returned it back. What I remember what Daddy Reverend Doc, Daddy Mobai said. He said when they brought the poison of ice seed of um, cement and water to him, he said he took it and said, "I drink you as tea. You will do only what tea does to the body." And he drank it. Do you think he could not say Jesus and the whole place will fall and people will start falling? He wanted to prove to them that there is a God he serves. And when he drank it, they were waiting for him to die. Since he didn't die, he said, "Now let me try my own." His wife now came and began begging. He said, "No, Emenek here, you will kill these people here." He said, "No." He said they have tested him. Let him call his God to test. Are you seeing the level of faith? I was watching one of his um, um, teaching that he did at Koza, and he said something. He said, "When the nature are threatening you, you are afraid. Come on, stop that. How can you be afraid?" And he quoted Isaiah fifty-four verse seventeen. He said, what did the Bible say? No weapon formed against you. And he started laughing. As he was laughing, my anger began to boil in my spirit again. Because we are Christians, I don't know what to carry. Was it not the program, you can go back, was it not a program I went to yesterday um, at um, JCCF week? I was at the program and I said something. I said, somebody here, they will take you to the past. You saw the testimony online? The boy was taken to 1740-something. I mean, it's something. Eh? What? 1870 something was taken to the past and he corrected something in that past that affected his future you think the past is not active i've been to the past twice that's the one i can remember there are times god has to take you he says son it's not just about the praying you, what i have to do is i have to take you to where this thing originated from and you will correct it i remember when i went to the past when the lord took me to the past it was when uh, the first child of the family was born and I saw him. He was born. I was standing there. My mom could not see me. Nobody could see me. But one particular being was there. Was conversing with me. I was saying, but why did you do this? Every other person in that place was not seeing me. Then instantly, a woman appeared. You know, in visions, you can be here. But there's another eye that sees outside. And the woman appeared and said, I heard that a maker came to the past to correct what I did in the past. Where is he? Then something like looked like a wind took me to the soil, to the floor there, and I disappeared and I woke up. I called my auntie and said, is there this, that this, that happened, that happened? She said, yes. Sometimes, but the reason why God doesn't do that is because you are afraid. If he takes you to the past, what will you do? What if he takes you to the past and then there is a shrine and he said, enter there and burn that thing. You start doing like this. And remember, when such a thing begins to happen, even the kingdom of darkness knows someone is entering to the past. <laughs> what, you see, do you know one thing that shocked me? I was speaking with Dr. Val. He told me something. He said, one of the Christian movies that he recommends people to watch is Matrix. I said, I said, sir. He said, Matrix. I said, how? He said, look at the scenario. If you believe. That was the concept of the movie. And do you remember the place they are running to for safety? The name of the city was called what? Zion. He said, if you believe, all things are possible. That was what they were doing that, in that, you know. If he believe, just believe that you are the one. That bullet cannot come through you. And he only believed. That is Isaiah 50, um, 54 verse 17, you know, King James Version. That is it. He could fly, he could... Everyone that was limited, the betrayer, it happened in the Bible. One person was betrayed. But at the end of the day, the city that was standing to the very last was the Zion city. When you look at the concept, you try to understand what is happening. When he pointed that to me, I was like, whoa. Whoa. They were trying to say something. They were trying to decipher things that they know. They were trying to speak to us. But you know, every single day you're watching a Nigerian movie. How will your IQ increase? And you're not watching better one. At least, I, I think maybe there's some there's advance that they do in maybe Netflix or so. But you're watching that one in Epic. I, I'm not hating uh, whatever we produce, but I mean, they should grow sense. They add the same thing over and over. That's why I don't watch it. In my house, it's almost a sin to watch it. Yes, my children would never watch that thing. My uncle children never watch it. Reduces your IQ. A lady is watching a movie 
and he's looking at her husband. He says, you see what that lady is doing, but I'm looking at you so hard. You're like, what is wrong with you? You have sense. It's a movie. I remember a lady that watched the movie and she went to her husband's phone and started checking her husband's phone. That's because you watch the movie. Influence. If every nothing to influence you. Go and watch Christian movies to be influenced. Every time, in every of your Nigerian movie, they lose the fine juju, juju, juju. And they lose the beat the pastors there. Same story, same story. Pastor is shouting seven times Jesus before they ask them more, before and ask them more. When the Bible said that the, the least of us is greater than the greatest in the kingdom of darkness. What is the story? That's, those movies affect your faith. In case you say Malia, they kill your faith. They drain your faith. They drain your faith level. You don't have faith anymore. You are faithless. That's why somebody came and you are seeing where we are chanting. You are afraid because you have all the Nigerian movies you watch. The moment they hear Kong 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 is native daughter. And you forget that those things are what is used to produce sound. But when they are playing piano, you are you need help. Psychologically, you need help. Am I teaching you something here? If you want to build faith, avoid anything that will kill your faith. Faith is like bar. It has bar. Your own might be on 10. There are certain things you will encounter, it will kill it. Let me tell you. Oh, a man of God that will always form my faith is Apostle Bola. A father of faith. A father of faith. I'm saying, oh, I need... He's telling me, no, 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 no. How can you be doing that? You are in Anambra. God has given you access to the territory. I'm like, we came here. We've not paid for this place. We are still trying to raise money to be able to pay for this place. And somebody came. I said, this is where God said you should be. He said, where is oil? I'm saying, sir, we have not... We don't, the owner, he brought oil. I said, in a place you have not bought, you have not paid. He brought oil and anointed. I said, this is where God said you should be. We, we are covering. Like, many the notice they do juju or something. The boldness. You will never hear him speak anything that is not faith. That's how your life should be. Not the friends that will say, um, I don't think it will work. You need people that say it will work. Say it will work. Even when you come out and you see it did not work. You say, what happened? You say, that will not work. Oh boy, go try again. No problem, they will call you back. Faith. Sit down. The second thing that is the strength of idol is sin. The moment there is sin in your life, you, you will find guilt will not allow you to challenge the idol. Vulnerable whenever you indulge in sin. Haven't you seen where demons speak and say, you can't cast me out? Say, I bind you. You say, you can't bind me. I watched one popular video online that time I was trending some years ago. The lady had one kind hairstyle and stuff. And she was binding the spirit. He said, ah, I'm not going. No. You say you don't have authority. It's your father that has authority. He said, I release fire. He said, there's no fire. Here is even very cold. That is feeling cold. Demon was speaking. I don't know how many of you watched the video. How many of you saw, you saw it? Oh, wow. You see? What were you watching? Nigerian movie. Of course, you, you shouldn't see everything. But it went viral. But how many of you have watched the one, if you lie? How many of you have watched the one, they, they hang camera up? Do you see the people that laugh? You see how they laugh? They know themselves. Camera, don't video them. If you know you've watched the rest of your hand, your eye, okay, your eye mistakenly went there. Quiet people are far now. Uh -huh. it I didn't say you have seen. I said if you want, it's a challenge. You saw. Uh -huh. Some people are climbing up. When you ask them now to do cobweb, they cannot do cobweb, but they can climb up to hang phone. May God help us. I am telling you that at the end of the day, our children will grow up to call these people here elders. That is why every one of us might wake up. So sin is one of the things that give the devil. The mom, see, let me tell you, there are spirits that are watching you. They will not attack you. They will wait the day you fall into a sin. They will come. Don't think, don't think devil has forgotten you. No, 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 no. They know that the way you are currently now, the way you are praying, the way you are fasting, they know if they attack you, they will die. They know. 
So they just keep you on a radar and wait for the day the arrow will hit you. They have released spells in the air waiting for the day you will make mistakes so it will hit you. And that time you make the mistake, bam! Instead of repenting, you start saying, well, since I don't do it, I might continue. The devil will hit you. He will hit you like long tennis. He will hit you like badminton. He will dunk you like a basketball and score you like a goal. That's what the devil will do. Because that time he will bring all the attack he can release on you. All of a sudden your leg is paining you. Eye is paining you. Nose is catching you. Throat be like this. And then because you know you feel like you are vulnerable, you accept every kind of attack. You say maybe in a cancer, maybe in a ulcer, maybe in a stomach pain. Everything will begin to happen to you. But if there is no sin, and even when you sin, you go back to the Father and repent of it, the devil will find no accusation against you. Even when he comes and he make it, see, let me tell you one day, one day you can be doing deliverance. <laughs> For some of you that cast demon, maybe on the phone, or I used to do it very well. Oh, on the phone. I, did, ah, I stopped doing it. It was so much. Every day I must do deliverance on the phone. You see people vomit nonsense, vomit nonsense. I always tell them, remove all your, any breakable thing. You, one day you can be doing a demon will speak. He say, who are you? You can't cast me out. You that you did this thing yesterday. Ah, and if you don't have, if you don't know how to answer, that demon will remain there. He say, no, I've been justified. You have no right for, there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. The moment you hit scriptures, it hit different to the demon. You hear a shout, ah! You must learn this. Fear and sin. Hope you know that the essence of sin is to kill your faith and put fear. Hope you know. Oh, you don't know. They, okay, let me use one of the common things that I know. Masturbation. The day you, you prayed, after you've been praying for two months, everything... The day you masturbated, the first thing you felt is that you felt empty. You felt like all the prayer you have built, gone. Then you now felt, you now start remembering all the time you are saying, devil, I bind you. You start fear that the devil might attack you. That thing you are doing is an opening door for the devil to come. You are actually signaling the spirit that, see, something is happening to me here. I'm vulnerable, I'm vulnerable, I'm vulnerable. Hi. Give me Romans 6 verse 15 please. Because I need to finish this thing today. Romans 6 15. Well then since God great. Now give me NIV please. Well then. Shall we sin because we are not under law, but under grace? God forbid, by no means. Now, give me King James. I think that is one of the verses that we are more familiar with. Just give me King James. I quote this, then you give me NIV back. Thank you, Jesus. Okay? He said, what then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? He said, God forbid. That's what I wanted to pick. God forbid. Now, give me NIV. Next version. Next verse. It's going to be a, a little bit lengthy. Just NIV alone. He said, don't you know that when you offer yourself to someone to obey him, uh, sorry, don't you know that when you offer yourself to someone to obey him as slaves, you are slaves to the one whom you obey. Whether you are slaves to sin, which leads to death, or obedience, which leads to righteousness. He said, whichever you give yourself into, so if you begin to indulge in sin, you have become a slave to sin. And idol worshiping is part of sin. So if you indulge in sin, you cannot be able to rebuke sin. That's what I'm saying. So if an SM1 comes and make enchantment over you, it can happen. It can take effect in you. Because it's devil, devil. Something has been defiled. Let me tell you something. It's like, contra it's like um, I don't want to use the word contraband, but... Um, you a Christian. Come, brother. You a Christian now. Because you a Christian, my brother. Ah, I like this guy heights. Sharp. Because he's a Christian, he has been spoken for. Which means that I no longer have rights 
over his life. In fact, Satan cannot touch him because he has been claimed by Christ. So if Satan come, the best thing Satan can do is just be around. They can even whisper, but he has no right over this body. Because this guy is an ambassador of Christ. So his entire life is for Christ. But the moment sin is found in him, let me get two doors. Let me get some people. Two persons to Atta's door. Yes, come. Come. Let me two persons to Atta's door. Now come this side. Come here. Come here. Now, this is the door. No, turn like this. Please come. So face this side. No, this way. You saw, you saw what I'm doing now. So this is a door. So he, this is where he is. So the devil can just come and stay here. Hey, Oga. How far that girl now? So this is what the devil can do. But the moment you sin, what you have done is you've removed, you stretch your hand like this. You've, you've given a, a foothold. So the devil will come and hold this one now. And then he will begin to lure you to come back to this way. But if you repent, you will untie your hand from him. And then the grace of God will shoot you back in. Do you get it? Do you get what happened? That is if you repent though, but you, if they want went overnight, may you repent tomorrow. Before that tomorrow, it is late. Before that tomorrow, when you come to cry to God, you will feel like the heavens are locked. Does that make sense? So that is what the devil does. So the moment that hand is there, the is more, and because the devil will allow the is more to be able to manipulate you, because the devil wants to get you. Then when he finally gets you, for example, he, he now gets you, they now tell you, uh, uh, if you want to be free from this manipulation, go and say to your mommy, what I'll be your miri spirit. And then you now go and say to the miri spirit. When you say to the miri spirit, now, devil does not cast out devil. What they do is to appease it. They just say, um, just leave him some more. They, they, they don't cast it away. He just leaves you. After six months, you now come back to your body. Oh, I need foul. Then the make another sacrifice. He leaves. That's your life. Your life cycle has changed. That's bent. But when you are in Christ, he can Do you know how I sleep? I sleep carelessly. Just for once. I wake I don't I don't care. Like, oh. Do you know how a baby sleeps when the father is around? He be sleeping and throw a leg like this. Because you know, if one fall, the father go hold him. But if the mother is around, you know they sleep like that. Have you seen children like that? When their mother say, let them throw you up. You do. Say, Junior, relax yourself. Mommy, don't do this thing. <laughs> he said, Junior, you don't trust me. The man, the father is coming. Body and soul. The father will throw them off. The boy will be changing style on the air. You know, like this. But that trust. <laughs> I, you can go. Thank you. Can you celebrate them? Are you understanding what I'm teaching you? Are you I, when I was small, I don't trust my mom to do that. I don't know why, you, but at that age, I don't like her. It was a rough play. There are a few people that when they hold me, I know, what if you throw me and you forget me? <laughs> and you know, you have those uncles that does that. They just throw you up and pretend like they'll be doing like this. You'll be shouting, hey, 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 hey. just catch you again. Then after they don't drop you, then there's a level they will throw you. You will not have faith in them again. That's how they will fling you up when you come down. Hey, come here. You will never surrender your body again. Praise the Lord Jesus. So that's what the Bible is saying. He said, do you not know that when you offer yourself to someone to obey him as slave, you are slaves to the one whom you obey. Whether you are slave to sin, which leads to death or to obedience, which leads to righteousness. So you can obey sin or you obey obedience. Obedience gives you righteousness. Sin, sin leads you to death. Next verse, please. But thanks to God that though you used to be slaves to sin, you wholeheartedly obeyed the form of teaching to the form of teaching to which you were in, entrusted. Next verse, please. Let's push a little bit forward on that reading. You have been set free from sin and have become slaves to righteousness. And you see, you have been saved from, a, from being a slave to sin, but you have been called into righteousness to be a slave to God. So when you obey sin and you give your body to idol, to sinful thing, idol has power over you. There are some people idol can never summon you. 
I pray that God give me grace. That even one day such things are summoned, I will actually go. And I will actually post online. So, uh, there are some, let's, we are going. Are going. You know, and with different, different Christians. There's the Christian, they will say, don't go. God will say, don't go. There's one, he will say, go. They say, oh yeah, hold this offer and say something. As you touch the offer, the SMO will say, just drop it. Just drop it. Just drop it. Hi! So, what happened? More on the checkpoint, man, I go. Oh, no. A big kissy. See, I see him watch that one after that. Belly can just be here. Ikuku, 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 Ikuka. Nah. God, use me. Use me. Use me. Do you know how many native daughters you have, you have shaked hands with? You don't know. Even some people that come to church, they will just come. Shake me. Just there. Ah, Papa. Bring your, you they fear me? You say, Papa. I mean, quay, quay. Papa, no, no, you turn back. Bah, bah. They drop their hand. You will never see them again in church. Papa, quay, quay, bah, bah, bah. You don't know what is happening. Ah, brother, brother Solo. Solo. Solo, they are looking for where we grace the solo. So, hey, oh, it's quite, ha, solo, are they solo now? You want now? She can't try to shake me. Eh, hey, mbala, fia, fia. Eh, hey, now, uh, of course, fia, man. You don't know. You know, sometimes, you know, you think every time you meet champ, your body will do bru, 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 bru. No. God doesn't want to bother you with such small champs. When the heavy one comes, he can give you a sign. So that came on in the winter. Hi, oh my guess, Abamba. The winter. Have you ever woken up in the night? You just woke up, all of a sudden, sleep left your eyes. Something happened in the spirit realm. No sleep. I'm not saying you want to try. No, you just wake up. You know you, you are up. Oh, that time is when to lechanya. When you stand up, kabaku taka. Who knocks on the door of the righteous one? You need to go and watch. What's the name of that Yoruba movie? Ojele. What do they call about that movie? By Mountain Zion. You can't remember the name. Ha! Ah, you are, you are Yoru, you your Yoruba. They help me now. They have to see. Uh, that man, Wole Shad. Yesu! Yesu Oluwa. Uh, uh, Odoje. Odoje. I don't know what they call it. It's not Odoje. Season 1 to 6. The 7 is coming out. Go if you have not watched it, you don't know. Is Yoruba? Eh? Ah, Joshi. Is it a Joshi? Is it that is it that one? A Joshi. I think that's it. They use red to write in season one to six. Yes, that's it. Baba was an awkward person. He encountered Christ. Baba, was, Baba became fire, terror. Those, if you watch that movie, your faith, if your faith is dying, go and watch it. Mountain Zion movie. In fact, all Mountain Zion movies are faith revivals. Want movie to watch? Sit down. If your wife is uncomfortable, suspect her. Sit down. Let's put. Uh, uh, there, there must be a rebuking inside of you. Come and watch a movie. I've once watched a Christian movie. I was watching a Christian movie. I fell under the power of God. Yes. And it was so real. I think that was 2018 or 2019 or so. Watching a Christian movie, the power of God hits me. I think you watch one called Giant. There are some things you watch, you, your faith is revived. You watch the one, the little boy, they are mocking the boy because he has faith. And the boy spoke to mountain and mountain began to move. Have you, you see? Okay, now. Who has watched your little chair? These are the things, the, the fates moving things. No, honestly, go and get that Yoruba movie. Yo. Adi Joye. Abi Joye. Go and get it. Season 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Is Yoruba o? I, me at the post. Post, read. I watched it from the beginning. I began to learn some Yoruba word. He, that movie even made me just begin to love speaking the language, this Yoruba language. But you know, Grimi. Okwelem. 
I've done my best, well, even God knows. So you need those things because that's what the devil feels. Give me 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19, please. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 16. Let's, I'm trying, I'm, I have to finish it. He said, do you not know that he who and unites himself with a prostitute is one with her in body? For it is said the two will become one flesh. You cannot be trying to pull down an idol and you have, you have sexual sin inside of you. No, you don't do that nonsense. The idol will hit you. Because you are trying to tear yourself down because you're also part of it. And you know some idols, in order to make some idols, you have to be naked to make them. <laughs> oh yes there are some charms to make you you are naked completely naked just to make the charm there are some demons that you when people haven't you read stories of these people i think i've played some of them in your bible study stuff some of them they have to go for fasting for one year i think somebody went for fasting for almost two years just to summon satan and when satan came satan could not harm him even when he mentioned the name Jesus and Satan was affected, he wanted to harm him, but because of the invocation and the charms around, even Satan could not harm him. And he was asking, he said, why are you afraid of that man? He said, the righteous one. Go on. Those tapes, I know there are many fake, but there are ones that will, if I watch them and my spirit accept them, I will post it. Listen to the occult people. Look, these people that are now evangelists, there's a reason why God is arresting them. To reveal to us secret that we don't know. I remember one day in the Eastern Ambra State, Native Daughters were having a meeting. The Lord brought me there. I sat, I was standing there. I heard their conversations all. When I was done, the Lord took me from that place. You just sleep and you just sleep. Wake up and wake up. Hey, whoa, at that time. No, Lord. No, Lord. You see that, you see that testimony of that brother? This is what they gave today. What was, that was the dream I shared with you. I shared with you a dream today that I was in a bunny and I met a young boy and we woke up this morning they told us that a young boy had a vision where he went to the past and I shared it with mommy if you ask that boy now he will say somebody took him there and it would have been me that came so why are you just sleeping anyhow were you not there in a bunny when we went I woke up in a when I came to church I said I came back here this morning I said, some people say, yes, they saw me. I came. How did I come? They were sleeping, but that night I said, Lord, take me back. We didn't finish this thing because of the school authority. So we didn't finish. So I went back into the school to minister again. And some people, when I came to the, to the minist administration, I said, I said, I came here again. How many of you saw me? And people raised up their hands. They said, we saw you, sir. We saw you in our dream. One even said, he said, I saw you. You are wearing the exact clothes you are wearing now. How do you explain it? There is more to God. We are not pressing in enough. Say so we are in the hard point of the spirit. You have not used 2%. One night of me used to have I want to, I want to use the fullness of the Holy Ghost that is in my life to the brim. So when I go, I will say, Yo, I used enough. I know I have not even scratched anything. I know I'm in 0 0.0000000 dimension of the Holy Ghost. But at least, let me use at least 2% or 10 or 20 so there is a burden when I pray. How is it that I just sleep and I cannot? Why can't I sleep and say, uh, hey, bros, there's something you and I need to talk, but we can't talk. We didn't finish it. You know what happened? Um, what time do you sleep? He said 10 o'clock. He said, I'll meet you by 12. Why can't we do it? Hey, I'm scared. Why can't we do it? Why? Why? No, it's a question. Why? As the Moors are doing it, why can't we do it? You, you use phone to call them, to call people. Hello? Why can't we do spirit to spirit talk? Why can't we speak without talking? The third thing is ignorance. Not knowing this truth is ignorance. Not knowing the weakness of idols and what gives them their strength is that's the ignorance we feed from.
Somebody, when we when we sing a song, when we say, Ejele, Ejele, some people say, Hey, Ejele, Obolomon. But if I say, Heavy masquerade, ah, you see, yes, English, your problem is English and Igbo language. You don't know Ejele, it's actually one of the greatest masquerade in Igbo land. So you prefer I call God order, local masquerade, order. Or which other local masquerade do we have? Which other? Eh, Ajibusu, Agaba, or Adamma. Of every other name to call God, Adamma, that doesn't even have any weapon. We are trans and be walking up and down, face white. Talking about colonization, even the masquerade is wearing face, um, colonization face. Adamma. Ijele. Oke mongoki ijele. Ogu kogu. Oka re soin atong robo go robo do go so godo. Suje ya suje. Mala ima oni mala oni ne fe. Sometimes English does not have enough vocabulary to praise God. I need to go to my dialect. Iku ka ma no nya. Ugwa na re ana atu egu. Oko sisi. Ono nedi go go dia na po na oversize o. Ojelije ne nu miri. Ifo kan ne wan ndi ne wan ene tu afa ona atoy ona atoy ona atoy. O ti li fero mo. Nge na afu ni ife na afu na nzuzo. Anya Jesu ro wa ni ne. Ofo ya na si ona abiala. O Abraham meli. Me fa de to bi ona abiago. Ma no fo ye bialo. Ma no puta yin of whom Bajan a more float and the boom a boo in the dim boro trail and the body like a bully. If you don't understand Igbo, that's why you should have a friend that is an Igbo man. English sometimes I don't have the vocabularies to praise him. I need to be a, to be a like this. Ne to a more man name and a yamusobu or some top one come. Dibia will come and do Okoko. I check out, I check out, I check out. You know, I do I said, I'm not Oh, Jesus, can I watch? I'm watching, 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 i <laughs> that is when you start seeing some tongues the tongues you will never hear me pray here if you are outside you will know that if at the place I am if you see all those shrines and everything and you are scared le chanya le chapa those things are faith building Omo ki se etu chukwa ya tukre chukwa fa ye la mbiji mbiji da amade o ha kuji enye she tells you when ah what amade o ha wa ko hope you know that is enchanting that is enchantment you are chanting it out that's what the bible says you should do with psalms psalms are not just meant for you to read chant them you are in school there is a witch in school the witch every time is doing what are you waiting for Go beside the witch. Sit down there. Stand your own. If the witch do, hey, Baba, you do. If you look at you, turn and look at her. Come close. I will deal with you. No, I want to die now. Oh, you are not mad. You are not mad. They are not, we are, oh, Kabako. Okay, people are not, they don't, they don't know how to be mad for God. You mean the thing is that you don't see. I remember when they say we wanted to go to a village. One, somebody came and told us, he said, Hi. He said, That's my village. Did they do juju well, well, low? Sister Helen started laughing. And she said, Why are you laughing? He said, That's the kind of place we want to go. Go and test power. Oh, Kai, Kai. Hey. How do you stay here without testing? 
Even Samsung, after building their phone, they test it. Look, they say, if you stay three months, you have not entered any warfare. Lord, Alpha, am I not in line? When? He said, wait, son. The next boxing match will be in two months. Time. He said, okay. So that you know, that's where growth comes, though. My mom be saying they even go meet them and then they come. Ah! I will never forget the day one witch came to my house. My body was there, my spirit was standing. Oh God, she just entered, tie her, why something? Just they enter with some people for back. The door was open, door was closed physically, but the door was open. So as she jammed me, my eyes was open, I jammed her. I said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. She went back like this, like she didn't run back. She went back the same step she came. Well, same stage she take back well, it's like they were they rewind them back and i turned i see myself lying down and i woke up from myself one market on after you talk is when it is in a jj but they not call them on after kumuwa christianity you will get there all of us will get there this one we are touch there are some fathers that when they tell you their own their own stories their encounters me i'm very young i've not touched anything those people, they can they don't even if they share it with their mic, you will not believe some of them. How is it that I was listening to that that your boy said he was supposed to minister in a particular country? While he was in Nigeria, he just left where he was, went like this, appeared in that place, ministered, entered bathroom, and came back to where he was. Yes, true life story. He shared it in, in one of his messages in Toronto, shared it this year, about three months back. Go and find his message when he went to Toronto. He shared the, that thing traveled you and i even in dream we are still shaking and somebody is able you see the thing is that many of us are doing it but we need to learn how to willingly do it see baba lola daddy baba lola that they were walking in a place and it, there was hold up and he touched the driver he said meet me in church he disappeared from there and appeared in the church what, what are we explaining Katrikuma was ministering one day and all of a sudden thunder came into the room where he was ministering one day she was ministering her leg lifted up why she was ministering to God people were under the hour of the presence of God she's ministering all of a sudden she stopped talking to you and started looking up to heaven do you know the kind of power we carry as Christians I remember of a man I remember I, I was hearing one of the testimonies that was it not that the best in that was that I wanted to come for a program in a particular place he said, before I come and minister, bring 20 dead people. They need to come, out, come back to life before he ministers. Abba, which kind of show of power be this one? He said, bring 20 dead people. And when he came, I heard when he came, he said, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, wake up. The person was still there. In the name of Jesus, wake up. The flies that died in the, in the corpse body came back to life. He said, if the flies is alive, the man will come back. How do we explain this thing? Why are we, do we make the gospel look like these people do not walk on this earth? It's not Bible now. These are real people. How do we explain that somebody could write a letter and you touch the letter, you are healed of any kind of sickness? Or that you write a letter, he wrote back to you. What's the name of that? Do we? They walk this earth. In case you don't know, there are places in this Anambra state, the villages, where some people that are missionaries walk on water. It's not everything they put on camera. If they tell you, you will not even believe it. May God look here. In fact, it's even a taboo that I'm even teaching about idol worshipping. But what will I do? I need to help us. Simple. The best teaching for idol worshipping is that if you see anyone, break it. And when a series, then when a series, series I won't waste the time. Why you feel simple? But what do we do? Because we have people that feed on meek as well. That's why we forever re respect the reprints, the minister of the reprints. There are books that made me that got me to where I am. Oh. You want to operate in deliverance and you have not read the book of the reprints. You are joking. You don't know deliverance. You want to operate in faith, you have not read the book of Kenny Hagen. You are playing. There are men you have to drink from their well. Now, nah, if I know, you will, we will go now. 
Let's look at the weakness. What idols hate. Every idol hates a child of God. You see how I, you see how I do this thing, bro? <laughs> Every one, one thing the idols hate is the child of God. First John 5.4 are you listening to what i'm saying the bible said that you anyone that is born of god has overcome the world he said for everyone born of god overcomes the world this is the victory that has overcome the world even our faith the moment you are a christian no idol has power over you no demon has power over you just because you are a christian you know christian is not the right word to use but is the is the one that we can understand I would have said more to a believer, but there are some people that have a wrong understanding of believer. Even the Christianity, there are some people that understand what it means to be a Christian. Hey, but once you go to church, they call you a Christian. Once you say, I identify, I'm a Christian, that's it. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. I do hate anyone that is a believer. Because I do is of the world. Hope you know. Now, clear and the creator. You are no longer of this world. There is a being that lives inside of you. I do they, a uh, man of God, I do they disturb me. Oh, uh uh. See, if I they sleep, they can't touch me, they wake me up. I'm not saying it's not possible, oh, but there is a truth you must know. There is a truth you must know. When we talk about someone being a child of God, one thing is one thing you must know is that let me list some of the things you must know being a child of God. There must be holy living. Because so that you won't say that, oh, I'm now a child of God. That, no. There must be what holy living. Number two, you must have a prayer life. Anyone who prays, the devil fears. Anyone who lives a holy life, the devil fears. Anyone who lives a holy life, the devil fears. Anyone who prays, the devil fears. Your body is telling you, that girl, that girl, that girl. Tell it no. No, tell him no. If you do it, you will die. I remember when I was in school, I always assumed that any lady that is fine is Mami Wata. That was what saved my life too. Once I look at you, you are fine. You are Mami Wata. That's what my, my, that's how I, that's how I build myself. I say, you can, I, why are you fine like this? If you are fine, you, are, you will take my destiny. He helped me. Oh. What do you, do you know, I was, I was, I, I own a dating website. One of the largest in Nigeria. Seventh in Africa. So people, we are connecting through my website to meet people. They pay um, 2000 1500 for matchmaking. I even had a talk show called Girl's Mind. If you see my hair fried with my beards, had gold. But now, I'm finer than whatever that is fine. Made in the image, fearfulness, wonderfulness, powerfulness, Holy Ghostness, Jesusness, Fatherness. Powerness, fireness of God, awkwardness of God. Praise the Lord Jesus. So I had that mindset. It was what helped me. But I still ended up marrying. May the Lord. If He does not give you understanding, you can go to a cock and buy. But that was what helped me. Whenever you see people's wife. Put, tell yourself you will die. See, when you keep saying it, you start believing it. If a sister meets you and say, Brother Solomon, where are you going? Just, just say, she will take my destiny. She will take my destiny. Sister Wopuaka. You see, I'm helping your imagination here. And see, when you keep doing it, you start believing it. Now, I I. I I'm not saying that women is the problem, oh. Men is the problem too. When your guy asks you for money, you know they ever get. Just once he started, just pass you, touch you like this, 10,000 don't come off of your account. You don't think you have a problem. 
You don't know you have a problem. A lady meets you and just say, yeah, you are, how are you? She said, I'm fine. You ask her, are you hungry? Why are you asking a lady hungry? Have you ever seen a girl that will say she's not hungry? This table, this table, this table, this table. Have you ever, have you ever seen a lady you ask if you're hungry? She says she's not hungry. You, oh, you've seen? Okay, oh, you've seen? But have you seen a girl that rejects meat pie and juice? Uh, no, guess are not the question. Men. Have you ever seen a woman that hates chicken and shawarma? Eh? You have never seen all your life. Thank you. Have you seen? You have not seen. And you can never see. Women are the only people that are gifted that you, they, you can borrow 50,000 from them. Dash them 500,000. They will remind you of the 50,000 you owe them. You think it's easy to be women? Let's be honest. You are in the author of God. True or lie? Eh? True. They just owe 500k. You dash them. He said, eh, honey, um, don't forget you are owing me 50,000. Like I just dashed you 500,000. He said, that one is my own. It's dash. You see, I'm buying. You just say it together. That one is my own. It's dash. He said, can you mind us? No. Give me another one. Then you tell me. So when you are giving the money, say, this one, not the money I owe you. And no woman forgets how much you are owing her. Ah, this sister don't shake head like this. Kai. See, I get this one correct. They never forget. Five naira, then they fifty naira, they will tell you. Oh my darling. That's what happened to our Christmas money. We can't find it again. But that's the truth. So the moment you are a child of God, you overcome the devil. By nature. See, just your nature alone overcomes the devil. There are some messages you need to hear over and over that there are faith building messages. So you must have a holy, you must holy living, prayer life, fasting. Now, fasting makes you sensitive to spiritual things. Fasting makes you what? Uh, this one that Prince Song is taking notes. Are we safe? Uh, it's audio notes. Uh, so I'm seeing. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm seeing him. I've looked. I saw him. I look again. I'm shocked. May the Lord give you understanding. Fasting. Fasting makes you sensitive to the spirit. Then studying. This is how you know the weakness and the devices of the enemy. Studying. I, I, I pity Christians that don't study. I pity Christians that don't study. I pity Christians that pray a lot but they don't study. I pity them. At least they are praying, you know. But I pity you if you don't study. Because you can still pray and still have an attack. The study tells you where you are and from what standpoint of victory you have achieved to warfare. How can you be a Christian? And you know, I find, I, it's funny how I see many Christians. That some of them, you know, on financial issues, that's where I always, a man of God, pray for me. It's okay. Concerning what? Just pray for me. I say, it doesn't work like that. I say, but you're a prophet. That is the first level of ignorance. Because you don't meet the doctor and say, treat me. You say, what is the problem? Just treat me. Be ready for your money to finish. You do lab tests, you do eye tests, you do... Because that's what you're saying. Then some of them will say, man of God, I need financial breakthrough. I, I, you, you will, if you have ever missed me, you find that I never pray for people and say, financial breakthrough. The first thing I will give you is book. I will ask you, I ask, how many books have you read on finances? It's a financial book. Which means, it doesn't have a clue there's a financial book. So how do you... Okay, for example, you want to go into real estate. You think real estate is all about... Buying and selling land. Agent, how far? How many land you don't sell? We have agents here. It's not just about buying and selling. You just see people, you just go to Newe, for example, you see people selling parts. You just look at that, they are selling parts, you say, wow. If I get 10 million, I open parts. Go and open it. In three months, you run dry. You'll be wondering, how are they doing it? How are they coping? That's why, how do, you, do you know why people go to boy? They go and serve someone. In the Igbo people knows this very well. They go and serve someone for seven years. And they will settle them with peanuts. Give that boy one year. If he come to his, his, his name will change to Amy Millions. You know, it's Amy people that I know. I don't know about people, you know. His name will change to Amy Millions. Amy Billions. With the little amount of money you have, 
because he has the knowledge and there are people they will give them 10 million just one small provision store it will close say what is there buy indomie sell indomie buy 10 naira sell mmm ponzi scheme has finished you there are three things traders learn you go to supermarket maybe robin store they tell you that doing black friday say things are cheap you have no clue hope you know that if you buy black black Fr uh, friday on jumia there's no refund hope you know that every black friday online there's no refund i bought a tv on black friday some time ago remember now the, the tv was broken tv that used to sell eighty thousand, they slashed 50 percent i bought it for forty four thousand. Now, on our thumb, out of the two, the only one they walk, the other one spoiled. And you can't return it back. Black Friday is a gambling. You can get it or not. That's where they started this what you order versus what you got. See a shirt standing well, you order it, and now children, now children, now children, pay now what they give you. That is it. Black Fridays. You think people just carelessly throw money away like that? All of a sudden, you went to a supermarket. Me and mommy used to know that one. We just go. Mommy, they, they will say, ah, this will land at 500 naira. Mommy will say, hey, hey, hey don't they spy. <laughs> and I'll be like, uh, maybe that doesn't. Mommy will say, you just check out. You don't they spy. You say these people, where they say 1,008, they sell them for you 700 naira. Check them. It's about to expire in two weeks' time. They will not gamble. Then sometimes they will not start telling you, um, buy one and get two free. Hollandia, buy one and get two free. Check them. It's expiring the next day. If you go to market and you see a foul, big foul, and they say 800 naira. You will not buy you. It's either they are, they are human beings they sacrifice to the gods. <laughs> In Nigeria. Then you now price another smaller one. They say that one, three, three thousand. Ha. You will just took that far. <laughs> you will never believe it. That is how you should be afraid. When a lady comes to you and say, I like you. Money, you know who. Car, you don't get. Now your destiny should they see you. Just stay and they wait. Wait after three years and come back. Please sit down, my brother. Whenever you have you're about to have a major breakthrough, the devil will come. Whenever you are about to have major breakthroughs, the devil will come. I'm teaching you, whenever you just see people, all of a sudden, my music people, both men and women, whenever you see brothers or sisters chatting you unnecessarily up, breakthrough is coming. They are not the breakthrough. Breakthrough is coming. Just be careful. Start chatting you and, ah, have you eaten? That's how they start. Have you eaten? Onuku you now. You are a single person. You now say, I have not oh. say what do you want to eat and i said well today is sunday now rice now they said okay i made indomie will you eat say yes say i wanted to come but this person that refused to come you call tony <laughs> tony don't <Dumpy call. laughs> you now say okay listen listen to me pay attention to what i'm saying you now say okay okay what should we do I don't know. I don't want it to spoil you. Can you come over? Don't come over. Don't. I'm talking to you people, ba. You know that's why I, I give prophetic word. You don't know. Don't do what? Because if you come over, you will stay over. And if you stay over, you will lose over. Brother Noel, I like how you used to edit video. Can you teach me? You are, you are teaching them edit and they are rubbing your head. That's how your anointing is leaving you. After you now come and say, Oh, what if any man are May the Lord, Brother Divine, are you with us? 
Man, I pity you. May you stay for church two more months before we use it for drama. <laughs> so the moment you have those things, holy living, prayer life, fasting and studying. So you cannot be saying that you are studying and you've not read any book on finances and you want financial breakthrough. It's not going to happen. You want to cast out a demon, you've not listened to any teachings on that. You've not even got, gotten scriptures or built your faith on that. It will not happen. Knowledge is the key. Praise the Lord Jesus. Now note this. Fasting is a form of prayer. Right? Giving is also a form of prayer. For the, I'll just give you the scriptures because of time. Fasting is a form of prayer. Matthew 6 verse 16. You read down to 18. Giving is also a form of prayer. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 7. So when we are talking about prayer, it's not just only staying and praying in tongues. Is that correct? Giving is a form of prayer. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 7. And Philippians 4 verse 18. Worship is a form of prayer. Psalm 95 from verse 1 to 6. Worship is a form of prayer. Psalm 95 verse 1 to 6. John 4 24. Dancing is a form of prayer. You see us do that a lot here. Dancing and praying and giving and fasting. We do all this. Dancing is a form of prayer. Psalm 149 verse 3 is a form of prayer. 2 Samuel 6 14. Dancing is a form of prayer. Psalm 149 verse 3. 2 Samuel 6 14. Meditation and contemplation is also a form of prayer. Psalm 1 1 to 2. Meditation is a form of prayer. Psalm 1 1 to 2. Joshua 1 8. Verbal prayer spoken, whispered, or loud is a form of prayer. Whether you are praying loud, Akabago, or Yeba, da, 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 Lord God Almighty, all these are form of prayer. You can get them in Philippians 4 verse 6. We would have gone deep into that, but because of time. Philippians 4 verse 6. 1 Timothy 2, 1 to 2. Singing is a form of prayer. Ephesians 5 19. Colossians 3 16. Prayer has a lot to do with your whole spirit, soul, and body. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? How to destroy idols? First, you must understand that idols are objects which demons are invoked to inhabit. So the first thing you will do in order to destroy an idol, the first thing is to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. The reason why you need to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior is because there are two spirits, two particular entities that fight for the earthly realm. And that is the kingdom of God, two particular kingdom, let me use the word kingdom, that fights for domin dominion over the kingdom of earth. And that is the kingdom of God and the kingdom of the devil. Of course, man also has his own kingdom. But these two kingdoms are fighting over the kingdom of man. Is that correct? So you cannot not be in the kingdom of light and want to destroy the kingdom of darkness. Because the kingdom of darkness does not have power to destroy itself. I think Jesus said that. He said, for demon cannot cast out demon. Devil cannot cast out himself. Because that will be chaos in his kingdom. Is that correct? So the first thing is you have to belong to a greater power, which is light. The kingdom of God. When you belong to the kingdom of God, God, you know, you know, I, this our father is, I don't, God is so powerful that he makes things there. Eh? You know, darkness is not the problem of God, but the Bible says he calls for light from darkness. In fact, darkness is this so that God will show himself. Honestly, if you think very deep, God is just enjoying himself. Using his children to enjoy himself. The devil is sending a plan and God is like, oh, you think that will hold him? Watch him. And you jump over. God is just using you to prove a point to the devil. That no matter what he's doing, he can never win it. Here's what I'm saying. So you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Number two, confess your sins and repent. 
confessing sins and repentance is different thing confess your sins after you have accepted the lord jesus christ confess your sins i'm a fornicator i'm a liar i'm a deceiver i'm a manipulator whatever you are confess your sins every single time i pray i still tell the lord that i am a deceiver have mercy upon me because you never can see whenever you come to before god and come like one strong giant guy eh, that nothing will happen <laughs> you are dead though just 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 first of all arrest yourself if you come before god arrest yourself first just tell him see i've arrested myself then he will not know how to help you but if you come and say oh but what's gonna happen he will hold you when you come before the lord know that no matter how righteous you think you are your righteousness is as filthy as a filthy rag come before him broken and he will strengthen you when i come before the lord i, I say lord i'm a liar i don't have truth in me have mercy upon me that was a secret i learned from david help me you are not just, you are not just confessing for now you are confessing because you don't know what you do tomorrow because if he start examining you when you have already examined yourself and you say lord i am not faithful and he now examined he just agrees with what you have already discovered but you come lord i'm faithful search me um you will find fault are you understand what i'm saying so confess your sins then repent from it stop doing that sin can't confess a sin and you are still doing it lord i am sorry i'm sorry that i stole my uncle's money forgive me that night you stole again that is where self-discipline comes when you confess it you don't ask god to help you lord i cannot help myself help me repent then renounce that idol if you know the idol by name renounce it this is the part where people need to focus on renounce that idol whatever idol is the name ominikokom i reject you ominikokom i don't know if there's anything like ominikokom please i'll just speak the word for you now say hey ominikokom please i don't know anything about ominikokom but i'm just speaking a word so renounce the idol by its name call it his name and say i reject you i renounce you and not in your mind though there's some of you, you you want to call the name of the idol you call it in your mind i reject you i reject you i don't longer no call it by his name let heaven and earth and beneath the earth bear your witness that you have renounced this thing and you have rejected it and be intentional in renouncing it renounce all allegiance to it every single allegiance i will no longer serve you i will no longer work with you i no longer connect myself to you however way i have been initiated to you through my, my father or my mother from my father foundation from my mother foundation knowingly or unknowingly i reject you i renounce you i denounce you i don't have any covenant with you i have no connection with you i don't want anything with you whatever you have given to me that i don't know and the ones i know take it i don't want it that's renunciation and you must what mean it praise the lord jesus then command the demon the demon spirit to leave that person or out of your body so if it's an if it's an if it's an idol you are trying to destroy um, after you have said i renounce i have nothing there you say whatever spirit that is inside of you i command you out of this place and this premises remember send the demon to a place don't say come out it will come out and enter your room come out i banish you from this presence i send you out of this family you must be intentional on what you are saying if you don't know what to say write it down you must not say it from your heart write it down and speak it from the book out of this family out of okk family out of whatever family i reject you i have no connection i bind your power is that correct don't go and carry it and start burning when you have not renounced the spirit. Does that make sense? That is where people make the mistake. They just go, they are, they are angry. Oh, go, go. Because he's trying to show something. But when you have renounced it, you have no power over you. Even if your family member said they don't want to burn it, oh, we still want to serve it. You renounce yourself from it. You understand? Renounce yourself from it. Leave it to them. Your life will take a different turn. 
you renounce it, reject it. Then command the spirit to leave you. So if you are renouncing on behalf of your family members, you command it to leave your whole family away. And then after that, you can do your burning. But if your family member don't, some of them are still worshipping the idol. You are the only one that wants to remove yourself. Renounce it and no longer have anything to do with them. When they are doing their food, just avoid their food. You know they always cook food every year. I'll be every two months, I don't know. Depend on who get money now. Avoid anything that has to do with it. Is that correct? So you can now remove the idol or anything. Then one of the things people fail to understand is that when you have an idol and you reject the idol and renounce it, remove everything the idol has given to you. So if you say, eh, nka abu anaka. I know I'm with Jesus now, but this one, why I hold for hand? Make a reason to terrorize people. You are still with that idol. If, you see, if there is a book they gave you for spells, go and bring it. Don't throw it away because it might fall into a wrong hand. Burn it. The Bible said so. I think we read the scripture in the beginning. Where it said, burn the idols. You burn it. And when you are born, you don't need to be praying in talk. You have renounced it. It doesn't have power. Burn it. And just be there. So I burn, finish. Then, if possible, video it. And send me uh, the video. Or tag me. I always do do a teaching. Another series. On how you succeeded in burning it and you didn't die. Does it make sense? That is it. So, remove the idol or anything you have received along with the idol. Like necklaces, clothes, charms, chain, artifacts. Let me tell you, one of the things that give access to demons is an artifact. I, you see these this designs you are seeing? You see designs of pictures of people. You see one, maybe the boy, very fine act picture. Tears is on the person's eye. You look at the artifact, it's fine. You carry it and put it in your house. Be careful. You will not see any single artifact in my house for almost how many years? All my life, if I don't work with artifacts. Never keep artifacts. Except you are sure. Right? Your artifact opens the door. Even the picture of the thing you called Jesus, that picture you think is Jesus that you're putting in your house, can initiate you into a court. Some artifacts are spirit. They bring them. And you know some people, when they're in the occult, when they die, their family members sometimes don't know the essence of those artifacts. And they sell it to those people that buy it on the street. You understand? And then you come and buy it. There are some houses you, you are not supposed to go and rent apartment there and stay. It's a haunted house. Say, so, no, if I enter there, I go. No. If you have the grace, fine. But if you don't, come on, leave that place. It's like if you are living in Ifite, you need a special kind of grace to be in Ifite. Yes. More especially if you are living down towards the school side, you need a special kind of grace. Ladies and men walk around naked up and down. Will you close your eyes and walk? You enter Gota. During my school time, I didn't live in Ifite. I didn't even live in Temsa. I went to Doka. Went and find boys' quarter. That's where I stayed. One boys' quarter. That's where I stayed. I was not a Christian, Christian, no. But I know what I was avoiding. All my friends told me, come on, far from school, come around and stay. After basketball at Garba Square, we will finish basketball with trek. Oh, you know, trek. You see all sorts of things on that school gate side. Now it's worse so, to compare to that time. And that time it was much better. Now, these are Sodom and Gomorrah, I have seen. You see the guys... A guy, you're like, what's wrong with this one? And you don't, you don't, you don't, you understand what I'm saying? You don't blame the person. That's what can I? So when you're looking at them, your head will be doing like this. But you don't blame them, right? It's a spirit. Some of them don't, if some of them were born, some of them grew up maybe around ladies, you know, maybe six girls. What do you expect? A guy has six elder girls. Six girls, old person, is the last born. I want you to do like a girl. You even have shape like a girl, without knowing, because everybody's in for practical of makeup. Everybody wants to draw makeup. Junior, let me use you. Give you one choice. So you see, you see all manner of things while you're walking. You see, you see girls. Every sort of nonsense they do. And some of them, you know, because we are basketballers, we play for Anambra State there. So when we are passing, you know, we basketballers have a flair. 
and there is this thing that people just like basketballers. I don't know, it's just natural, right? We always compete. No what footballer, but footballer, but nobody like her now. Nobody be careful now. You hardly see ladies sit down to watch football, bas footballers. But basketball, ooh, you see ladies that don't know about the sport, they just come and watch us. So you see them making advances. Wow, nice game. Wow, wow. Wow and run away. Wow and run away. I drop was 20 naira, 20 naira, 30 naira, just drop. And sometimes we don't do it. We don't take drop, we just trek because, I mean, when you have your other guys, we don't want to depart easily. So we just trek till when everybody has entered their junction, they meet I'm going to them site. I will now board. And sometimes because we are sweating, we'll be smelling in the bus. So we have to trek. That is it. So you, you, you don't talk more of now, evil has advanced. You are there. You need help. It's not easy. If you are there and you are surviving, God is with you. There are some laws you will enter. Sexual sin will. If you enter, as you are entering the gate, they are doing by the side. Ah, but now, staircase. Sometime in the night, you can't sleep. I, I'm teaching you something. I'm, I'm no longer in, in that hostel. I'm telling you what is happening there. On a more can You are restless. Find a way and come out of that place. Save your soul save your soul and there are ladies that will knock they will bring food for you they will just like you the moment you start liking a girl and you are entertaining the thoughts if you are not fast you will fall into something the gateway is here the gateway is what here i'm not saying that every lady is evil but there are some ladies that are carriers of portals that they don't even know. And there are men that are destroyer of destinies that they don't even know they are destroyer of destiny. The moment they meet you, forget it. They are useless to you. You will fight for your prayer life eh, until a man that is anointed will lay hand on your head. You won't recover it. He be to say that today. He be to say that. Mess you up in the spirit. Even when you don't meet them physically, they will come in a dream and mess you up. Spiritual things. Back then in school, hear this testimony, it's going to help you. Back then in school, I met a lady. This lady, if you want to enter my house, she'll ask me a question. She'll say, tell me to come in. I watched Vampire Diary. You know Vampire Diary? I refused to tell this girl to come in. I think that would be a story for another day. The very first day this lady came into my house, I had dreams of snakes then after the snakes i had injury i'm a basketballer so you know what it means to have knee injury it's bad they will bench you i just walked in just let the old they say more oh, no that will go day to just they talk more know how far whether our love go walk just enter house the next day i go for basketball my knees were hurting me one of my guy where they play basketball he said alpha so they do for knee I said, I don't know the fee pen. He said, any girl visit you? I said, ah, I got chooks, Alpha. He said, any girl visit you? I said, yes, a friend of mine visited me. He said, I on you. He said, which dream you dreamed this morning? I said, yes, that's true. I saw snakes. He said, stop allowing that girl inside. True life story. I'm before the author of God. True life story. The, I, oh, I, that day I pray. I don't know how to pray. I didn't have gift of tongues, though. You know, we used to have bulletin for prayer. That, Catholics used to have that prayer something. So denouncing, you'll be praying. This lady came the next day, early in the morning, and knocked, said, please give me my phone and my charger. I said, ah, what happened now? And this one, you don't want to come in, self. He said, well, tell me to come in now. Vampire diary, bagam, bagam, bagam. If they come in, they have asset. Bagam, bagam, bagam. I refuse. I said, don't let me bring Till that day, till forever. She never entered my house. That's how that night I had a dream where snakes were leaving my house. She might not know she's a carrier, but that one she knows. Uh, no, 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 no. She might be watching me online, Steph. Because very soon I'll become her pastor in Jesus' name. Yes. That was when I began to find out that she's hey, she's a, a big influencer in clubs and everything. Be careful. They will mess you up. This one, those one I'm seeing sign of snake, were just God giving me signs. 
no, nobody evil will enter your house without you knowing you don't. It's a lie. Can't say you don't know when the devil enters. And I lie. He, God showed you sign. He said, if I did, I didn't remember. And I lie. That dream will stand that. I'm still remembering the one I had that time till now. He will show you a sign. God will show you a sign. I'm blind in the spirit. And I lie. He will show you a sign that evil is coming to your house. Of course, there are sometimes you can meet a lady that is actually a good girl, but you have dreams of snake. It can be that something is following her that she doesn't know. Foundational thought, something. So if God is saying this is the person to marry, just be, care, just be rest assured that you're going to engage in a warfare to end that foundational whatever. Then there are some people that when they come to your life, they will project certain nonsense dreams. Just to, so I'm trying to, that this is not a doctrine to know that someone is evil. Is that correct? But for that one, hey, it was a doctrine for me. <laughs> May the Lord. So remove everything they give you. Let me teach you one thing, boys. After you break up with any lady and you say you want to serve God, every gift she has given to you, take it away. Necklace, wristwatch, give it out. If she holds that thing, she can still manipulate you. That if she wants to go evil. Are you learning? Oh, you are shocked. Nurse, you're like, oh yeah. Vice versa, a guy is done with you, you are no longer dating, give up everything. Give up. If you had a car that they gave to you, make sure you take it to the church. Very important. Everything should be blessed and prayed for. They can use that to summon your soul back. The person is no longer with you. You're no longer talking, but the person still visits you in the dream. How do you explain it? The moment you take away a particular thing that belongs to that person out of your house, it doesn't have a legal access to come in in the spirit realm. Are you getting this? So the artifacts of the cross and everything you buy, you put them in your house without blessed. You, put, you buy a necklace. Boy, be very careful with the necklaces you are putting on. Pray over them. Soak them with the blood of Jesus. All of, some of you, Dalono. Omoaya, Dalono. You are buying necklace. You have not prayed. You have not even paid. You are testing it there. Then after you are done testing it to keep it, you think that is how spiritual thing works. The moment it comes on your neck, it is already there in the spirit realm. How do you explain someone who look at you and say there is a necklace on your neck? You say, ah, it's not there. You say, there is something I'm seeing in the spirit. Was there a time? You say, yes. That was when you were initiated. People get initiated without knowing. That is why you must be a true Christian. Because if you are a true Christian, even if you put it on your neck, the moment you enter that night and you pray in tongues, you scatter all those nonsense. But know these things. Are you what I'm saying? Are you learning from? I'm telling you spiritual things here, deep things. Don't worry, we're having priest to this next month. I will open. I will. Ayabado kokodo, which is will get mad on what I was supposed to you. Teach you priesthood. You know, I've taught it before. Most of them have teach you again how to catch them in the spirit realm. And with time age, I'm Udofa. When I am done, I will give you a book to read. Then, Jezebube witches. I'm going to repent, but you need to have it. You need to have it as a tool. So, remove every artifact, then burn it. While you are burning it, watch it to burn to ashes. Let it burn completely rings, whatever they have given to you, burn it. Do you know you can receive a ring and throw away the ring but the ring is still with you? <clears throat> hmm? I'm not saying, now, this thing I'm saying is not everything. I'm just saying that to be safe, whatever you are bringing to your house, cover it with the blood of Jesus. Say, now Jesus, but that, that's not Jesus. That thing you are seeing is not Jesus. It's not Jesus. Even the one you keep on like this, it's not Jesus. It's not him. Picture of angel where you match, it's not him. These are symbols speaking to us on scriptures. Even if you must have such in your house, bless it. But when you look at it, don't say you are seeing an angel. It's telling you something. The best thing to do is to put scriptures in your house. Put scriptures in your house if you can. So when you wake up in your bathroom, there's a scripture where you are bathing, you know, do it if it works for you. I know in the room, mommy has one. Have you yielded to the Holy Ghost? I'm sorry, but that's it. 
I think she have shared it before and she posted it. So whenever she wake up, sometimes solo table go to the party, you go gum and again. Bah! I said, now wow, I wake up in the morning. Have you dead to the whole? I said, yes, I have you dead. But she's doing it to help herself. She's doing it to remind herself if she has yielded to the Holy Ghost. If your own is anger, when you wake up, write it somewhere. When you wake up, kill anger. Okay, sir. Let it talk to you. When people come to your house, it's their house, not their house. Say, what is happening now? You have every diagram. You, you, you are not, it's not for you. Sit down. Chop food if you want food. If Gary knows they take Gary, go home. Speak to yourself. Just renew yourself. Even our church, we have it. Look at it around. You see all those quotes. Read those things. You see this one. The blood of a deity was spilled for me. It's a reminder. Whenever I look at it, I know, Kai, I can't give up. Oh. Can't give up. Ah, it's too late. Can't give up. I look at it, I see the thing, the whiting on my neck. I know, God, you are a priest. So even if I'm angry, I want to react, I look. I say, you are a priest. If I put a white man on that, I say, oh, 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 I took on our worship. Even this one I put is a problem. So why is he having his face? Is he your face? Is it affecting you? If it's affecting you, cover your eye that side. This thing is also helping. So that anytime you want to do, you don't see he's looking at you. If you want to bet, some of you, you are in the dream, if you are sleeping, you want to do evil. You, a lady comes to you in the dream, that picture will just come and stand up to you like this. You say, no, no, I won't do it again. Praise the Lord Jesus. <laughs> God help me. Then start studying the word. Join Bible classes and join church. When you destroy idol, it's not a time to start going to bar or clubs. Join a church. Join bar. See, I, I beg you. I beg you. I prefer you don't attend service but attend Bible classes. I, I tell you. That is where you can ask questions. You know our Bible, our Bible class, we take question takes us one hour and questions and when you are living there you have answers to what you are looking for please don't joke with bible classes some of you as i'm teaching there are some questions you want to ask but you can't ask it now you say you can't ask it but in bible class you can come we will talk in bible class we don't say oh no no we can't answer the question god grant us understanding we answer all your questions by the grace of god even some people just come to church they come late to Bible class, they still ask questions. We still, we still answer. <laughs> they verbally affirm and proclaim Jesus Christ over your life and over your family. I do it this very day, even in this church. I come sometimes in the morning and pray. I say, I soak everywhere with the blood of Jesus. I soak the speaker, the sound, the tears. Do it in your house. Soak your bed with the blood of Jesus. Soak everywhere. Anytime you remind yourself, soak it. Affirm who you are. I'm saying this for someone I just leave, just left I do, you understand? But if you have already been a Christian, you don't have, you have denounced all this thing, you everywhere is cooked already. Praise the Lord Jesus. My God. Time. So be active on prayers. Bind any bondages, anything you sense. You are praying, you begin to sense like, renounce this altar, renounce it. Bind anything you sense. Chains broke, just bind it. Then engage, number nine, engage in constant praises, pra praises and worship. Constantly. One of the things praise and worship does is that it sanctifies your house. We won't pray much, so just I'll list it and we'll go. Number ten, maintain in, how will I put it now? Be at a lot. Alright? Constantly check yourself. Constantly check your spirit. Know if there is a loophole somewhere and constantly renounce. If there is a place to repent, repent, re repent, confess your sin, receive forgiveness, you know. Then seek godly counsel. Whenever there is an issue, after you have renounced the idol, you start feeling like your business is being affected. Don't go and say, don't go and meet your elders. And don't go and tell your younger brother or your elder brother that is still worshiping idol that this thing is happening to you. They won't give you any consolation. Go to your pastor. And I've told you before, have a pastor. Let your pastor know you are his pastor. You are, uh, I don't know how to say it. You understand what I'm saying? That thing. Let your pastor know you. Go to your pastor. When your pastor, your pastor is supposed to have your file. When you come for counseling, your pastor knows where your foundation is, where you are coming from. He knows these are the challenges you have had in your life. He knows the kind of book. Like, if you see people that give books, 
most of you that I give books, you find out that the books I give to you talks to you. Is that correct? Every book I give to you speaks to you directly. Sometimes, some of you, you will come, you say, Daddy, you want book. And you are seeing books. But I will say there is no book for you. Have you experienced that? Yes. Yes, you have experienced that. I will say there is no book for you. That is because the one that will handle your case. Because I have I've seen you. I have seen you pray. I have seen your life. You have told me the issues you are having. So I understand you. So when I look, I know the book that is right for you. From where you are coming from. Not every book you just speak and read. But it's good to have knowledge. But I'm talking about concerning someone that is dealing with this thing. When you start seeing those issues, go to your pastor. Pastor, I'm having this issue. My business is not going. Your pastor will cancel you, pray for you, then recommend something for you. All right? Talk about your freedom in Christ always. That's the last step. Always talk about how you are free from the kingdom of darkness. Whatever the devil hates is whenever you talk about how God set you free. That's why you see me talk about masturbation, how God set me free. Whenever I talk about it, he they pain the devil. So be bold. Talk about it. Tell your friends, tell people around you, oh boy, I used to be into this thing, oh God set me free. Every time you announce it, it hurts the devil. And the devil cannot tempt you with that offer again. He will find it hard to tempt you with that offer. Praise the Lord Jesus. So what if my family does not want to get rid of the idol confess your sins accept jesus as the lord and savior renounce the idol separate yourself from it then follow all the steps i've mentioned so you can go back and get this sermon are you blessed i want you to pray this prayer lord is there any person that you are here you are battling with idol from your family you're battling with any idol stuff Please do make sure you meet me. You and I will pray because of time. But as you are here, just begin to say, Lord, give me the wisdom that is needed. Anoint me afresh. Anoint me afresh. Anoint me afresh. Anoint me for this purpose. Anoint me for this purpose. Just pray in tongues. Tell him to anoint you afresh. Tell him to strengthen you. Tell him to empower you. Anoint me afresh. 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 Strengthen me. Strengthen me. Some of you, your prayer needs to be, I renounce my I renounce those idols in the family. I disconnect myself from every altar of darkness. I renounce them. I disconnect myself from them. From every altar of darkness. I renounce myself. I denounce them. I reject them. Babu The Lord releases grace upon you. The Lord will release it, release it. I don't know what you are believing God for. Just begin to make demand in line with this teaching. No evil author shall speak over your family or over your life. Renounce them and reject them. Reject their ways. There is wound in your spirit. the 
the idols of your father's house, the idols from your mother's house, the idols from your foundation, the idols from your village, just reject them all. You have, you have no connection just for your soul to know that you have rejected them. As you are speaking those things, they are taking effect in the spirit realm. As you are speaking those things, they are taking effect in the spirit realm. fighting my life fighting my career my destiny I rebuke you in the name of Jesus I rebuke you in the name of Jesus I bind your holds I declare that I am free in Jesus name I declare that I am free in Jesus name I'm free he who the son of man has set free is free. that has been manipulating your business manipulating your career it ends now in the name of Jesus whatever thing that has been fighting your business your career your ministry it ends now in the name of Jesus you have received light and as you have received this knowledge you shall use this knowledge to save many other persons in 